Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, this video will be the history, literature, language, arts um, selections for um, my sister, my daughter, and my son. And um, I have a shelf out in the living room that I will be showing you. It has everything laid out there as to how I'm going to do it. I had a, a homeschool haul that showed um, things like paper dolls and coloring books and things like that to keep the hands busy while I'm doing a lot of reading. Um, one of the reasons this video took so long to get posted was because I have a Word document where I literally broke down every book that will be shown out there. Um, I broke everything down as to how many pages I need to read and all that kind of stuff and I had to base it off of you know 15 20 minute lesson or daily lesson without any interruptions and we know we're gonna have those um, what I have here um, let me just quickly show you I have these three baskets um, so my son my daughter and my sister those are gonna be their free reads um, for uh, for American history so what they'll do is they'll have their reading of that and then they'll narrate and um, orally and the girls are going to start doing it um, written narration to kind of get some practice of the spelling handwriting writing grammar all that fun stuff um, as you can see one reason why it's taken me a while is I've been doing a lot of homeschool planning a um, document I was wanting to give it away um, on my blog for whoever would want it um, but it's not quite I've never uploaded something that somebody can download so I don't know how to do that yet but um, once I get that done I will put it in the description box below and mention it in another video of mine that it is finally up um, so check back with that you can um, also subscribe on my on my blog um, so you'll get notifications when I've posted something and that'll help you too um, but right now I'm just going to show you what the kids are going to be doing for their reading um, and then I'll take you in the living room and I'll show you my shelf with the American history and there's there's a ton and oh one of the re one of the reasons we're doing American history this year is because we ended our story of the world study with Christopher Columbus discovering America and it was a great introduction at that point to start American history um, one of the things that I was learning with Charlotte Mason was um, to give the children a history that's that they can relate to, a sense of home, their own natural surroundings. And so it just works really well to do American history this year. And of course, uh, this year when we're done, we're going to go back to Story of the World Volume 3. And, um, but now that America has been discovered, um, when we get back to our world history, which is what I like, I like um, a whole broad perspective um, the American history will be coming back and that's what I had to keep reminding myself is that um, America's gonna the the history is gonna keep coming back in the aspect of um, the story of the world and so we can build upon it at that point because I have so many books that's another thing I shopped my shelves first and you're probably gonna look at me and go you had all these on your shelves um, I I had been married for 11 years and I had been collecting books before I got married. I had a shelf. That was my dowry, okay? Um, it's just, I knew I wanted to homeschool my kids and so I have been collecting books ever since then. Um, I talked about my book list book. Um, you can click the, the little I card and I'll put that in here. So if I bought any books I will try to make mention of it but most of these I did have on my shelves that I've just collected over the years um, when I was making my American history I didn't follow any um, literature based program what I did was I took Beautiful Feet um, Sunlight Book Shark book list on Pinterest and I literally just wrote down any titles that I recognized or that I thought we could use or make work and I just built curriculum based off of those I'm just gonna do the best I can 
And of course, we'll be learning as we discuss and talk. I'm kind of done talking. Let me turn the camera around and show you. This is going to be a long video. Let me just say it right now. But let me try to speed through this as quickly as I can. Okay, so these are the these are the baskets that I created for the kids. In this one, this is my son's, but there also are going to be like this one I purchased this year for him. This is um, very simple, and he's going to just learn to read this out loud to his little brother, kind of get practice in um, reading out loud. So I got him that, and then there's a couple other um, books that he'll be reading, and I'll discuss those in a minute. But for his history, um, he's going to be doing Where Do You Think You're Going, Christopher Columbus by Jean Fritz, Squanto, Friend of the Pilgrims, the Courage of Sarah Noble, Phoebe the Spy, What's the Big Idea, Ben Franklin, The Matchlock Gun. I purchased this one. It looked really good, and it was kind of spy kind of thing, so I think my spy-loving boy will really enjoy this. This is called The Keeping Room by Anna Myers. I purchased this one. This is Benjamin West and his cat, Grimlikin Benjamin West, um, if you do not know, was an artist. Um, this one's by Marguerite Henry. Um, what was the Lewis and Clark Expedition? Who was Frederick Douglass? Charlie Skidaddle. The Legend of Jimmy Spoon. Bully for You, Teddy Roosevelt. Sarah Plain and Tall. Justin Morgan Had a Horse. Who was Alexander Graham Bell? Albert Einstein, Childhood of Famous Americans. Electrical Wizard, How Nikola, Nikola Tesla Lit Up the World. This is the Wright Brothers. This is um, a World War One or Two. World War Two book about a boy and his dog. Okay, and then these books. Um, oops. This is another one for his. And then who was FDR? Franklin Roosevelt. Okay, now these books, um, I picked, chose these based off of Simply Charlotte Mason. Um, these will just be um, books that, um, literature books that he is required to read. They don't necessarily have to do anything to do with history. So we're going to do Along Came a Dog. Now we do a lot of reading in the evening, so this might just be what he'll be doing in the reading, or in the evening, I'm sorry. It's Caspian, and I let him choose which ones. I, I showed the list, and he was required to do four, and he added more to that. So he added that, and that. Oops, and okay, this does go in his history thing. See, my, all of my things get out, oh, and this is another one that he wanted me to require him to read. Here's my daughter, so she has, who was Fernanda Magellan, Journey to the New World, the Fighting Ground by Avi. The Cabin Faced West. Um, there you go. Make Way for Sam Houston. I thought I had to read that. Stonewall. Let's see. 1852, the Journal of Wang Ming Shang. Perilous Road, Seeing Down the Moon, Shades of Grey, The Great Turkey Walk, Harriet Tubman, Best Log Cabin Quilt, Run Away Home and Be Free, Bound for Oregon, all right, it's got the Confederate scene. Now with her, I kind of broke up some of the um, Civil War books with some other things. That way she didn't have so many. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's see. Bonanza Girl. Over the Waves. Sounder. Thomas Edison. I purchased this one for her, and I purchased this one for her. So we'll end with World War II for her, 
And then here is my sister. So we have Pedro's Journal, The Mayflower Adventure. Um, but here's Pocahontas, Benedict Arnold. I purchased this one. It looked really good. I want to read it, um, but I assigned this one to my sister. And when she's done, I am looking forward to reading it. Fever. Saka, uh, story of Sakajawea by Scott O'Dell. Indian Captive by Lois Lenski. Who Was Sojourner Truth. Turn Homeward Hannah Lee. And Sounder. Now she only has about three books uh, relating to Civil War because she just did an intensive study on it with her co-op. Um, but I just left those there. Children of the Covered Wagon. The Ballad of Lucy Whipple. She also has Bonanza Girl by the Great Horn Spoon. Out of the Dust. Now I had this as um, a read aloud for all of us. However, it is a free-flowing... My, da my daughter. My sister loves um, yeah, poetry. So I thought she would really enjoy it. Um, but I, I do not like that kind of writing, so I just, I'm letting her do it, and she can enjoy it, and maybe I'll find some way to bring that in, too, for us. But, um, Dragon's Gate, A Year Down Yonder, and The Journal of Ben Uchita, um, California 1942. Um. This will be her... Big read. It's the book thief. It's it is narrated by death. If you guys do not know anything about that, and then finally my side of the mountain. So those are her books. And now let me um, go show you what how we will be doing the rest of the books. So this is my American history bookshelf, and no, this doesn't even include everything. Okay, so I have these books that are not listed in my layout plan but they are all here if we want um, to to read anything or do anything I have a bunch of these biographies that I again just collected over the years um, I purchased this one and this one they looked really good and so at thrift books they had them very inexpensive so I did add those to my library this year these are what I'm going to do. Um, forgive me for not taking them out. I have them laid out and I really want to try to keep it that way. But um, so this is The Spine and this is by Josephine Pollard. A copyright thing but I haven't been able to find this one for free. But I did find some of her other ones and I'll, I'll mention that in a minute. So this will be our Spine of Child's History of the Life of Christopher Columbus. And then we'll do... Um, a lot of the Dolaire. So this is, I had this for um, Story of the World Volume 2. And then this one I had from Story of the World Volume 2. I picked up this one. I don't really have anything on the first Indians. So I have this one. And this one that we'll be doing. And then as we finish this one, we'll head into this one. This one is free public domain type of book. So that'll be our spine, and we'll kind of go into this one, but we're not reading this whole book. It starts like at about page 10, I think, is when we start reading that one. Um, let's see, this one I picked up this year, The Lost Colony. And let's see. Then we're going to read The Double Life of Pocahontas, Landing of the Pilgrims by James Dougherty, The Witch of Blackbird Pond. And then Beautiful Feet had their books for $10 each, so we picked up Benjamin Franklin, and we'll be reading that. We'll be reading Esther Forbes' Johnny Tremaine. Again, these are the read laws for the whole family. Um, George Washington by Dulaire. Soft Rain, the, trail of the, uh, the story of the Cherokee Trail of Tears. Abraham Lincoln, Across Five Aprils. Buffalo Bill, Moccasin Trail, Eight Meals from Monterey by Patricia Beattie, Esperanza Ri Rising, 
Okay, now I was going to be doing this one, um, but somebody told me that he thought that might be really difficult for my children at this point. I didn't remember that at all. It's been many years since I read this. Um, so if anybody has any more suggestions, I am open and willing. Right now we have Bud, not Buddy, as a possibility of a replacement. Okay, and then I have The War That Saved My Life. This is an amazing book, just saying. Um, and who was Martin Luther King Jr.? And then some of these, they're not in the reading list, but these are definitely ones I want to um, work into um, our history at some point. So we have Locomotive. This was purchased with beautiful feet. Fly High Bessie Coleman, The Story of Ruby Bridges, and Who's Saying What in Jamestown, Thomas Savage by Jean Fritz. Um, this one I think I purchased this year. Um, but other than that, um, I haven't, again, I've just shot my shelves and kind of created something from that. Okay, so, so far, that's kind of what I'm doing. Again, these ones down here, I have a ton, as you can see. And if we need to pull something out, I am more than happy to do that. I have a lot of these um, Betsy Maestro books that um, I've heard really good things about. Especially this one, I want to try to figure out how to work in because it's the French and Indian Wars. Um, but again, you, you don't have to cover everything. Oh, this one I recently purchased and I wanted to, um, put this into our school at some point. We have one of my favorite children's book of Betsy Ross. Um, if you've never read this one, this one's very inspiring. Um, anyway, there's a ton. I think, oh, I wanted to try to work in Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's Hiawatha. And again, there's just, I have a ton of Jean Fritz. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to be using for American History. And I hope this video kind of just gave you an idea of how we're going to be using this as a family. Um, so this is part three. Oh, you know what? Even down here, I have a ton of, you know, who is and who is and what was and where. Is. So all these uh, who is and what is and where is and all that, we can figure out a way to put in as well. I'm not too worried about it because with history, again, it'll be coming back and, and you kind of, it's like, um, you know, it's like excavating. You just start digging deeper and deeper and deeper as they get more into it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.